Hi, I'm Daniel, and we were bird is a show that I started watching when it first came out in 2015, but it ended up hard to keep up with because of how Cartoon Network handles shows. This is far from the only time it happened. They ended up only watching the summer season 2 and 3 and practically none of 4. Now that it's ended, I decided to watch through the whole show this year and it is really great. The characters are likeable, even some of the weaker main ones. The comedy is often really funny and it is a very wholesome, good feeling show. Also, certain episodes do things extraordinarily and really master what wants to do, so it deserves a top 25 to count down the best episodes of this superb show. Depending on how this video does, I might make more videos on We Were Bears and different shows using the top 25 format. Because I like using it for younger years that aren't quite rankings. 25 Everyday Bears A type of We Were Bears episode is the Triple Bear Spirit, where the three bears all have a separate story that keeps switching between them and in the end they all tie together. This was the first episode with that format and one of the better ones. With Grizz getting stuck in a tree and trying to deny it, a mouse making panda uses fireworks and dice bears a electronic vacuum. 24 Pet Shop Probably should have been the first Baby Bears episode for introducing what this episode would be like, even though the episode that came before this still did a good job at doing that. Seeing the bears invade the commercial for the pet shop is funny, and the end of what he realised the need to find a home together sets up the all of the episodes with the younger bears. 23 Kyle I really like this episode for its very much of Nom Nom, the best character, and showing you its change throughout the show. A weaker series would have outright just said Nom Nom is improving, but here it is demonstrated by showing him start to open up about his Yakko proper family. And you are actually hoping Kyle is not fraud when watching the episode. 22. Bros in the City Watching the bears interact with their human counterpart in a reality egg setting is a genius idea. Doesn't even need a setup or why they're in the situation, just having it constantly switching between the three having their disputes. Season 4 is one of the better seasons, but it has to use standout episodes compared to the rest of the show, but this is an exception to that. 21 Grizzly the Movie An episode that feels real by discussing a serious topic of harmful stereotypes in the media and how that affects people's opinion. Grizzly presented a very aware of stuff like this and the bigger picture that this picture could cause. While changing a movie's tone drastically is a yacht, in situations like this, it helps perceptions of different people. 20. El Oso The parody hero Western Egg stories are amazing, especially by adding Chai, who is a very out of place character in this story. Chai isn't always a good character, but here is plenty superb for not being annoying and interacting with the current surroundings. Doesn't feature the birds, which makes it feel very self contained from the rest of the series, and I like that. 19. Viral Video The use of modern culture in We Were Bears works. While it doesn't hang out other shows because this uses it as a setting for stories like this. It definitely screams a episode of a show, but it has a charm that makes viewers want to watch more of this show. Also nom nom. 18. Bear Kenzie A fun episode built around the bears being on a diet. And while Ice Bear has his own comedic side plot about him and a seal, Panda and Gris are the same plot so I wouldn't classify it as a triple bear spirit episode. 17. Cupcake Job With the laptop broken, the bears get jobs at a cupcake piece to buy a new one and it is great. All their jobs make it really entertaining to watch it switch between all three, and the twist of all three of them thinking he broke the laptop is a really good ending. An overall side episode that is a good episode to show to people who have barely seen any of the show. 16. Creature Mysteries Combining Chai and Ranger Tales feels like a concept that was bound to happen. And this episode is the perfect family or backstory. Chai saving tales both from flashback and real time is paralleled in a brilliant way. A lot of it is the birds trying to keep the secret which gets old after a bit, but it barely matters when the atmosphere is so amazing. 15. Faces Normally when a realistic ish show goes or magical doesn't work, but here the use of magic is executed in a way that fits the universe by having faces spreading electricity. The change to make Panda act like an over the top vein is entertaining and a good way to exaggerate his character traits in an annoying way. I hate like this episode, the different feel may turn some people away, but it works fantastically in my opinion. 14. Neighbours 
This is where we get to the episode, so we're almost guaranteed to spawn this guest. Starting, we have this, which I find hilarious how I criticise these type of shows. I swear I remember watching a show similar to the show Grizz was watching about dangerous neighbours. And that show makes him paranoid his new neighbours want to kill him. He eventually convinces the brothers that too. It may sound simple, but it's very really funny and actually has something to say about shows that push paranoia. 13. Rescue Ranger A second episode with Chai and Tapes, but here there is a Venus Hunter. Having them actually meet was a great decision, even though it doesn't actually last long here, and the way the episode gets rid of Panda and Grace before the rescue actually happens is funny. 12. Captain Crabble. One of the few double yen we reverse episodes, and for the first one it is easily the best. The first half of this episode is pretending this character for a mediocre season 1 episode, and building a bond with the bird, mainly Ice Bear, who takes some time to yike the crab. The second half is the birds and Crabbo in hiding, trying to escape from officers. We Bear Burst the movie is a great finale and okay enough film, but it is just the plot of this episode combined with an Eric Road Trip story you would find in most animated films based on TV shows. Anyway, this episode manages to make the audience emotional over a crab, and it has both the normal slice of yike part of We Bear Burst and surprisingly intense part too, which makes Captain Crabbo so amazing. And yeah then, Eskew and Deos. This is one of the best Baby Bears episodes with the trail together and I don't exactly know why. It is just how great everything comes together. Rizzy and Ice Bear fill in for their friend Rescuing with Panda as their assistant to help win a medal. Which is a simple story done right. Also the family advice of a grown up Rescuer telling the story to his son shows the effect the bears had on people. As well as that, this is a Baby Bears episode that doesn't focus on them trying to get adopted. On to the top 10 now. 10. Occupy Bears I think this is a masterpiece of an episode. The constant cutting between the present and past six some Futurama episodes do was a great choice to show the meaning behind the bears saving their home. They had nothing but each other and went into the cave as a yasmin of a sort that they eventually got used to. And this is presented in such an incredible way. 9. Shush Ninjas A more light-hearted episode now that takes place in the setting of a cinema and the birds trust the audience during the film but Panda just disagrees with them on which character is better but the other two do. The birds get kicked out for causing complaints but eventually the person in charge of the cinema calls them back for a cinema of kids. This does a speech about the importance of movies which is actually really anti-worded and filled with loads of visual references that is a great end to a great episode. 8. Icy Nights 1 and 2 I type both episodes for being a direct series of action-packed intense stories featuring Ice Bear as a starring role. Both a parody and homage to action genre with showing Ice Bear's adventures without his brothers and interactions with Yana. There should have been a third and final one in season 4 but at least it wasn't hinted at like Phineas and Ferb's Meep episodes. 7. Christmas Movies Christmas special then some way replicates the Grinch story with the antagonist and the ending. And as a way of telling that story, it is a great version of it. The baby bears are in the location of a VHS store during Christmas and then being temporarily accepted to gift there by the owner is a wholesome change to the usual setup used. Best Season 4 Episode 6. Jean Jacket a seemingly good yuck jacket is revealed to be bad yuck in tearing apart friendships that the birds get a hold of. The dark atmosphere of the episode and the way it seems that Jackie keeps coming back to them and how painful it is to refuse Jackie's gift is really chilling, especially the ending where another group of friends find the evil jacket. Is the jacket itself evil or is it just the way people deal with it that's evil? 5. Nom Nom's Entourage Nom Nom is the best character I could make a full video on him another time. And this is the episode that started redemption. Despite episodes like Captain Carby and Christmas parties later in season 2 having an antagonistic role. Anthony Banks is a great foil for Nom Nom for practically being his opposite and the bigger threat that makes him team up with the bears and they are actually friendly like. However, when he finishes Andy Banks, he decides to stop hanging out with them and go back to the days before, but he still remembers the past with this happening and decides to keep the photos. 4. Family Troubles 
Baby Grace before we had met the other two was a child actor on a sitcom show with a really expansive character and explained the more exaggerated way Nomi acts since this was the life we lived at a young age. I'm eventually finding out that this isn't real family and that ratings really dictate your attention cause it's young for a real family and home. On the surface level it still works as a fun parody but looking deeper you see a backstory for a character and criticism on child actors being manipulated. 3. Hurricane Howe My top 3 isn't going to be that original, starting with an Emmy nominated episode, where there is a hurricane going on and each bears with another second main character. Nom Nom isn't here but for once I don't mind. It's hard to explain what makes episodes so extraordinary. I don't know if it's the atmosphere tension or just the found narration but you'll probably know when just watching it. 2. Yuri and the Bear I think they are the best baby episodes of the ones before they meet in the timeline. I've already mentioned Family Troubles, and Panda 2 is no great episode. Of course, Yori and the Bear is really high on this list. In this episode, Ice Bear meets an old man giving us only a cold place. And that old man, Yori, mentors the young bear. A very heartfelt episode that shows the type of person Ice Bear grew up into, and where he got his axe. If there was an Ice Knight 3, we might have seen more of him, but just in this episode, he is an exceptional character. And now, the six honourable mentions are Everyone's Tube, Band of Outsiders, Toti Ife, Rooms, Crowbar Jones Origin, and Small Bay. 1. Burrito Imagine watching a new Cartoon Network comedy show, and there is an episode about a character being overly attached to a food. In a comedic way, but then this ending happens. We already had Panda and Ice Bear steal the thing as a climax, and it had a somewhat strong ending that could have been fine, but there's more. A younger Grace was stuck in a tree and was saved by a firefighter who sees the symbol of a Rito. The whole episode now feels like it's been full circle. The fact that this is comfort or past trauma, combined with the song I Have Time, makes it a really sad scene and helps shape We Were Bears into the show it is. The rest of the episode is pretty funny and works for the setup it is reading up to. But it's the amazing ending that makes Burrito easily the best We Were Bears episode in my opinion. In conclusion, We Were Bears is a great show and while there are a few weak episodes, they're not frustratingly bad, and there's loads of good to incredible episodes to massively sway it. The comedy of the show is great, but I barely mention it in this video, mainly because of how great the show discusses topics, parodies things, and has emotional moments. I definitely needed 25 picks for this year, and so not 10. Also, I do like Joey, just none of our episodes made it onto the list. The Wee Baby Bears spin-off show is coming next year, and I'm actually looking forward to it. Because unlike other baby spin-offs, the original already had a baby episode, and while I prefer the different type of baby bears episodes, I still like the others. And unless it messes something up, I think this show will be good. This was a young video, but it's not really a new thing anymore. At the start of this video, I only had one video of 10 minutes, and now I have over 10. I have a lot to say about this show, and whether I discuss it again or not, I wanted this to be a discussion of the underrated show. It got 4 seasons and over 100 episodes and a movie to end the show, so at least it didn't end too soon and had a good run, but from what I can tell it's now barely discussed. Also, this is a very good topic to the video to discuss at the end, but it's the best thing out of all of my Yay September videos and I wanted to bring awareness to Final Space cancellation. After the channel merge, Final Space didn't get renewed for a fourth season, and that is a shame because the show was getting amazing in season 3. The first two were still great, but that season was the peak so far, and it ends on a cliffhanger. I recommend watching or re-watching this show, with season 3 now on Netflix in most of the world, because it is great, and the show should be saved. It probably won't get up to all six seasons the creator Owen Rogers wanted, but it still should be renewed. It is easier than something like extending the hour house, because that is already a just thing to ending with a short in season 3. But for Final Space it just needs to get renewed. Like it on a different channel, it might become an international Netflix original show. The End